ask yourself, why even bother to write or publish for a journal? You're right, it is a lot of work, but the rewards are enormous. You're making such a wonderful contribution to the discipline when you share your knowledge, your expertise, and your experience. Some of the other rewards is that once you're a published author, people will see you as an expert in that topic. For example, you may be contacted then to come to a presentation on that topic. You may be asked to be a consultant on that topic. So when you're out in the literature as an author of a publication, you're seen as an expert and it can open doors to other possibilities in your career. But yeah, there are challenges in writing. It takes time, it takes work and effort. It's hard work to write. There's days it seems like the words just won't come. But I encourage you to give it a try. Work with a partner, work with a team. I think you'll find once you get your first publication, you'll be feeling so rewarded and so positive about your contribution to the discipline that you'll want to do it again. But maybe I still have to convince you because you've got all kinds of excuses of why you can't write. You might be saying, well, I'm not sure it's really worth my effort. You're right if you're looking at it financially. Writing for journals, you don't get paid. As a matter of fact, in what's called open access publishing, you may have to pay to have your work published. So it isn't worth it if you're looking for an opportunity to earn income. Journal writing won't be for you. But if you're using the excuse, well, I don't have anything to say. You really do. You're experienced in your field. You've had lots of education. You have tips to share with others. You've solved problems. You've carried out projects. You may have conducted research. So you have lots to say that others in our profession need to hear. You may be using the excuse, I don't have time to write. No writer really has time. We make the time. We prioritize it in our career. Experienced, successful writers build the time right into their schedule, right into their calendar. So you can't use that excuse. Make the time, find the time, create the time. Now, if your excuse is, I don't write very well, that is of concern. So what I would suggest is you be sure to write with a mentor, write with a team, so that you get guidance about your writing. You learn about good writing. You learn about how to be maybe more concise. Perhaps you're too verbose. Perhaps your writing isn't well organized. But writing with a mentor or writing with a team can help you overcome that. Maybe another excuse you've given is, well, I just don't feel qualified. I don't have enough degrees. I don't have enough years experience. You really have what it takes to write. You have the education, you have the experience, and there's no requirement for degrees. The requirement is that you can concisely and clearly get your ideas across to the audience. It's not about the degrees. For example, I had a student once who as a junior in her baccalaureate program she published. Now she happened to have a previous degree in English, so she had no fears of writing. She had done a project on care of patients who had peripheral neuropathies and were more, more prone to scald injuries. And she did a whole project on scald prevention. She wrote it up for a journal under my guidance. It was accepted and published before she ever finished nursing school. So there's no excuse for your degrees. As a matter of fact, sometimes I can tell you by my experience as an editor, it sometimes feels like the more the degrees, the worse the writing. I don't know how that happens, but it does feel that way sometimes. You may feel like everyone else is an expert and you're opening yourself up for critiques when you write. Well, that's true. Peers will critique your work. Your work will be out to the discipline to read, but that's why we have a peer review process so that we're sure that your article is well-written and that it's organized, flows clearly, so there'll be help for you.